sweet little sidekick. It's okay. It's okay, Jeannie. It's okay. My little vlogging sidekick here, she's always sitting with me when I work in the office. But she hates the camera. <laughs> is it still is it still watching me? Is it is it still there? Oh shit, it's still there. Hey guys, Katie from the K Show Vlog here. Today we're going through Plastic Free-ish Challenge update number six, where I gave up Ziploc bags. So it's pretty exciting actually, because if you watched my last video, which was my Iceland tips, you notice I bought my new camera for vlogging and then it blew up and it was like a bit of a hassle to try and get it fixed. But I'm so excited because I'm using the replacement right now. They were able to fix it and this one has a flip screen. So I can actually, like I can see what's in frame. If I accidentally like go too far out, I can fix it. Um, my other one didn't and I used to get a bit anxious. I think my, if I felt tense in some of my vlogs, it's cause I, I was tense. I was worried I was, you know, not capturing things perfectly or going out of focus and things like that. So now I can see it's so much better and I'm so excited to be able to make videos without like that little bit of tension in the back of my head. I actually used to like push mechanics it and like wedge a mirror behind the camera just so I could like, if I was ever leaning and looking, it's, I was just checking the mirror to make sure it was still on and still working. So yeah, this is really exciting and uh, so let's get into it. So this month's challenge was to give up uh, plastic Ziploc bags. And I found with all the other month's challenges, the best way to start was to look at how you use the thing you're trying to give up and then that helps you decide a strategy for how to replace it. So I really only used two types of Ziploc bags. The first one was the, the sandwich size bag and I use that mostly for, sometimes I put my toothbrush in it when I traveled. Uh, sometimes I use it for food storage like if you use like half an onion or something and then I would put the other half of the onion in a Ziploc bag and put it in the fridge. So it's mostly little food storage things like that that just need to go back in the fridge. And I also always have the gallon size bags here. And the way I use that one is fairly non-negotiable. I'm not interested at all in giving up this use until I can be super confident that the replacement is worthwhile and just as good as, as the plastic. But that's to, I always take one with me when I travel. I keep it in my day backpack and that's to protect my passport and my camera gear when I'm out. So if I'm out doing things and then it rains or snows or anything like that, I chuck everything in the Ziploc bag and it's all protected and it's very reassuring because I do not have the money to replace all my camera gear just over something like that. So far I haven't found a replacement for the plastic Ziploc bags that's as light, as compact and as waterproof. So if I ever do, maybe I will change that over but for now the replacement is being focused on getting rid of these little ones, really. Gotta remember to look at the camera because I can still see myself. <laughs> so it's just like you're sitting and talking, then it's like, oh, hey, a mirror. <laughs> okay, so what I got to replace the Ziploc bags was first I bought a packet of the Stasher bags. So I got the four pack. Came in four different sizes. So the first one was about this size little snack size one. Just got it out of the dishwasher actually, so it's a little bit wet still. And then there was two of these sandwich size. Bring that back, there we go. Two of those in the packet, and then one ginormous one, which is about a gallon size. So for the stash of bags, they're so popular, they're so like Instagrammable and trendy and stuff. And I will say the quality is out of this world amazing. They're so awesome and so versatile because you can get one of these, you can microwave it, you can dishwasher it, like it holds hot and cold things. It's really sturdy and um, very leak proof, like that seal is very good. So the quality of them, I really can't fault. But the issue with them is kind of that they're expensive. This four pack was $50 for four Ziploc bags. In comparison, like you can get a box of 50 of these little things for like maybe two or three dollars or something. So huge, huge price difference. And I just think like for the average person on a budget, for the average family, that's just 
too expensive to be a replacement just on their own. Like if you have meal prep or something, or even meal prep just some smoothie bags or treats for your kids and things like that, like you would have to buy so many bags to be able to do that. And at that price, like $50 for four, it's just, it's too much, you know? So I don't think it's a realistic swap for like an average person on a budget or a family, like I said, but they are amazing. So if you have more leeway in your budget, or maybe if you use Ziploc bags differently, like if you don't meal prep or you don't use a lot of them at once, maybe you just need a few just to uh, store some food or something like that they would be a great alternative and a great thing to buy because the, the quality is, is very good. You can also use, if you get the clear ones, you can use these for travel, like the sandwich size and put your toiletries in it because that's a clear plastic uh, to get through security. Um, I'm thinking, I'm going on a trip tomorrow and I'm thinking of putting some, I bought some reusable makeup wipes and I'm thinking of soaking them in the uh, makeup remover overnight and then just putting them in here and taking them with me so that I don't use the throwaway ones anymore because I'm trying to give those up. So they have more options than just food storage and they are really really great. So if you have been thinking about it, the quality is amazing but if you're a bit concerned about the price, maybe you could just get one packet like me and then find other alternatives to make it an actual viable option and a realistic option. One thing I noticed since I decided to give up the plastic Ziploc bags was that I just started using other things to store my food. So in that like half an onion, a half tomato, whatever example, I just started like using containers more and I started using old jars more for leftovers and things like that. So that, that's nothing I necessarily planned out. It's just how I saw habits developing uh, over the month. And that's one way you can sort of supplement if you want the stasher bags for like a good quality um, Ziploc bag alternative and then use those for like travel or day trips or work or things like that. And then at home you could just use what you have around the house to put food in the fridge like containers and jars and things like that. You can also buy other silicon um, Ziploc bags there are some at my local store which are way, way, way cheaper, but I can't speak to the quality because I didn't buy any, I already had these. I'm trying to be less wasteful and not just have things around for the sake of it. But other brands make them too. There's also a ton on Amazon. I can sort of try and find some and link them below if I get the time, but otherwise just look on Amazon. And maybe that would be an alternative if you do meal prep a lot, or meal prep dinners or things like that. And maybe you could buy enough that it would actually be a viable option because you would have to spend hundreds of dollars getting like you know 20 of those or something so maybe that's another way you could do it as well i've also known people who use these ziploc ones and then just wash them after they use it and so they reuse it a lot of times if your budget is really tight that could be another option as long as you're like disciplined enough to wash them and reuse them now the other thing i have read People have issues with the stasher bags and the other silicon Ziploc bags because they are made of silicon, which is a plastic and it doesn't break down. And I think to address that, you kind of have to balance like some eco-friendly and then what's realistic and practical. Again, like if you're using this for a year or two years, that's already so much better than going through boxes of these single-use plastic ones. So. That's already an improvement, so focus on the improvements, not like being perfect. I don't know if you've seen the meme, I've seen it go around a hundred times, but like progress, not perfection. And that's what we have to remember. So I'm totally okay with using a silicon plastic, but then maybe using that for a year or two years or however long they last, I don't know yet. But you know, just focus on the improvements and not like striving to be perfect because there's probably nothing at all that will be perfect. And I think if you need something that can seal and be waterproof, you kind of need a little bit of plastic, you know? So it's just, you have to wear that. And if we could just get plastic used to a manageable level by using reusable products and things like that, that's already gonna be so much better for the planet than like using one thing, chucking it out, and using one thing, chucking it out. Overall for the budget, I think the packet of these four stasher bags was about $53, so slightly over but still under in terms of like the year's progress. I'm so happy with the product because I love the quality. I think it's not really a viable alternative on its own if you're trying to give up Ziploc bags, if you use them for a lot of food storage and food prep. But you can get these so you have something that's good quality and then supplement it with other options for your whatever your Ziploc use is 
and then that's like seems to be the best balance of the two in my opinion. If you're trying to reduce or give up your plastic Ziploc bag usage, I hope this has helped you. I will leave anything that's helpful in the description. If you have any questions, just leave it in a comment and I will get back to you. And there'll be a full written review on my website as well if you want any more information. But thank you for your time. I'll see you next time.